Hey guys, so today I filmed this look for you guys. You guys really want to see a navy smoky eye or a colorful smoky eye, so I kind of combined them and created this nice blue bright smoky eye. And I used the new Smashbox Bold Eye Palette in collaboration with Shea Mitchell. And look at the packaging, that is sick. So I wanted to use this one so bad because I feel like a lot of people might not know exactly what to do with the bold and look at those colors. I'm literally going to reach for this palette every time I need to add a nice pop of color to my looks. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to stick around to see how I got it then just keep on watching. I'm going to the Smashbox Cover Shop Bold Eye Palette and I'm picking up Fling first. With my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush I'm going to start running the shadow through my crease. I'm so excited for this look. I don't know why I've always wanted to do like a magenta crease with a blue lid and this is going to look so pretty. I'm now picking up Wait What? Now with my Sigma E58 cream color brush, I'm going to start packing the shadow all along my lid. Just keep packing that on. Now I'm switching to my E25 blending brush and I'm going to start applying that through my crease. And I'm applying it right where that lid shadow ends and that crease shadow meet and I'm applying that brush right in the middle and then using a really really light hand because this could go really wrong and start getting really patchy so I'm just using a really light hand and short strokes and windshield wiper motions and then start going back and forth and it's going to turn to like this really pretty like blue purple because of that magenta shadow on the bottom. Now I just picked up a little bit more and now again I'm going back and starting to diffuse that out. To darken up my crease I'm picking up Techno. So I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma E45 Small Taper Blending Brush and I'm packing on the shadow first on this outer corner. And then I'm going to start lightly diffusing that through the crease just on this outer corner just to give it a little bit more dimension and darkness. And because all those steps could really make that magenta shadow get lost, I'm going to bring that back and apply that through my crease once again with that E38 Diffuse Crease Brush. And just apply that at the very high point of that crease, using a really light hand again, just buffing that out. Now for my lower lash line, I'm picking up that magenta shadow first with my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, and I'm basically doing the same thing that's through my crease. And now with that blue. And lastly with that sparkly dark purple blue eyeshadow and my E20 Short Shader Brush by Sigma, just darkening up my lower lash line. To highlight my brow bone, I'm picking up Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow in Cream. So with colorful looks like this, I think it's really important to highlight the brow bone. So I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and just clean that up in that inner corner right here. To highlight my waterline and tightline, I'm picking up Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in M10. Lastly, I'm just going to line my upper lash line. And my lower lash line. Make it nice and smoky. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara and falsies. And the lashes I'm using today are these Ono Lash Lashes in 401. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so now moving on to my lips. I'm going to keep my lips nude. I really wanted to do like a magenta purple lip. But I feel like it was a little bit too much and it might take away from the eyes. So I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush. This is one of my favorite nudes. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And that is it. This is the completed look of my colorful, bright, navy, smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love this look so much. I love that magenta paired with that blue. My hair is doing weird things, I know. I blow dried it and it's like not fully straight and it just like looks really weird right now. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. As I was saying, I love that navy paired with that blue. It just gives it a really nice, different, fun effect to the look. And yeah. So if you guys don't want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here. As well as down in the description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today and brushes that I use will be linked down in the description box. And make sure to check them out. It's easier to find them down in the description box than have to search where you can find and everything, right? I'm making life easier for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!